Many people are asking me this question. Why? Why, Nico? Why did you left ZBrush, this amazing program for Blender? This just free stuff, you know, what? Free stuff we all know is junk. But why? So it's let me tell you the story. So it was the end of 2021 and I decided the beginning of 2022, I will try to use Blender. I, my, my idea was to try using Blender to make characters, only Blender, to make the high poly, the low poly, UVs, and I decided to do it. So in the beginning of 2022, I started exercise my sculpting in Blender and I kind of did it. And I made my own workflow in making characters in Blender. By watching some videos, watching some tutorials and stuff, I made my own workflow and this workflow kind of worked. But the real test came when I had to do, because I was working at Gameloft at that time, I had to do for the, for one of the games one character, which was this guy. He has four arms, he has a lot of detail. It came out uh, 21 million triangles, the high poly. And, you know, I wasn't sure of myself whether I will be able to do this character when they gave me the concept, whether I will be able to do this character in Blender, only in Blender. But I said to myself, okay, you have to try. Try to do it only in Blender. And if you succeed, at some point, you will just be able to do everything in Blender. If you can do this character in Blender, you can, can do everything. So I started it and I did it. It was fun. It was nice. And it turns out that everything can be done. Then I did a couple of more characters for Gameloft in Blender. Some of them semi-realistic even. And... Yeah, it, everything was great. So Blender turns out to be a program that it can do the same things, relatively the same things as ZBrush. Although I admit, ZBrush is the best sculpting program in the world. Yes, but Blender is not bad at all. Blender is very good even. And it's so good that it should cost around $500, but it's free because, you know, ZBrush costs about $1,000, I think, these days. Blender, if it was like $500, it could be just normal, just normal software, but it's free. So it's amazing. And uh, the guy asked me a couple of days ago, he asked me, okay, Nico, if they gave you one work, one head, for example, and you have to do it in Blender and in ZBrush, which one will take you more time? And I say it's the same. Because tools, they don't matter that much. Skill matters. So my recommendation for younger users, uh, younger sculptors, is to use Blender. Don't worry. ZBrush is a pain in the ass. I mean, you either have to get it from the torrents or you have to pay for it. And it's pretty expensive. So you have those two choices. With Blender, you just download it and you just start sculpting. And the skills that you develop with Blender, you can easily translate them into ZBrush Later, if you have to, for some work, if they want you to know ZBrush, ZBrush is just a program. Yeah, it's a little bit different than most, but it's just a program you can learn basic ZBrush, just normal things that everybody use for less than a month. But sculpting, anatomy, working from concept, these are skills that you develop over the years, and even I cannot say that I know them perfectly. So I st I'm still learning. Everybody is still learning. If somebody tells you that they know everything and they can do perfect anatomy and perfect working from concept, uh, probably they're not quite uh, with their right mind. But this was one of the reasons. I just tried it just to see if it works, just like an adventure, and it works. And I just say, okay, why should I use ZBrush? This free program is amazing. Blender. The, the other reason is when I released my first Blender tutorial, which was with the mouse, the beginner one, I realized that Blender tutorials are selling more than ZBrush tutorials. And you can find all my tutorials in the link of the description, but that's not the point. The idea is that Blender tutorials, since Blender is a free program, it, ha it has far bigger user base, then Blender tutorials, they are much more um, buyable. They People are buying them more. So for me, as a tutor and, and as a guy now, who is supporting himself only from selling courses, I would say this was a pretty big deal in my decision of just quitting ZBrush and starting using only Blender. And I can do Blender tutorials 
and for freelance use ZBrush, but that's what, well, that would be a hypocrisy, right? Because I am doing tutorials how to do whole characters with Blender and then I do them with ZBrush. I'm not that guy. So I just forgot about ZBrush in the last one year and a half since I started using only Blender. I think I don't have more than five hours in ZBrush. In Blender, I have a couple of thousands maybe. So yeah, you can imagine that Blender nowadays is just my tool. I'm using mostly Blender for everything. Uh, the other tools, of course, are Substance Painter. Sometimes I have to use it for texturing and baking. Photoshop sometimes I use, but ZBrush is not my tool anymore. And may, that may change at some point, someday. But for now, for me, Blender is the tool. Of course, as I said, if you have access to Blender and you want to sculpt, you don't have to use Blender. ZBrush is a little bit better in sculpting than Blender, but Blender is not very far behind. As I told you, if Blender had a price, it would be fair to be around $500 without any issue. Maybe even, maybe even more since it's in many areas, it's better than 3D Max. It's on the same level as Maya, in some levels better. So these programs are much more than $1,000. So yeah, Blender is, I, I would say, just a perfect tool. And yeah, that's the reason that I started using Blender mostly. Mostly the reasons for money and just because I just tried it and it worked. Yeah, basically. So yeah, see you in the next video, of course.